Hello everyone and welcome to the Sim Live. Here I am just starting to do a just a cute little house here in Windenburg, I believe. Middle of nowhere, I believe. I just decided that I wanted to do a small little lot for just maybe one or two Sims, you know, as you first get married or something. Um to be able to move into and have just cute little privacy of your own home. Um, I was really excited with this build actually just because I knew that the kind of thing I wanted to do, I was just kind of winging it as I went. Um, so as you can see, I always work on the layout of the house first before I start adding in windows and doors just because it does make it easier to be able to know where to put the windows at. Um, it also makes it to where, okay, this is going to be here, this is going to be there. It's just part of my thing of what I prefer to do. Um, obviously, I'm right now, I do want it to be modern. So that's why you can see I'm trying to figure out like what kind of windows that I wanted to use. Obviously, that is the bathroom. It's the smallest room in the house, and it's also one of the easiest to try and figure out windows. Um, that is the kitchen window. I wanted it to where, you know, you could be able to set up your table and chairs there and just be able to look out the window out into the forest because I figured that that would be a good way to start your morning. I know for me, when I have my coffee, I like to be able to look outside, especially early in the morning, just sit and listen to the birds and things. So that's why I was trying to make sure that I found the right type of window to go into the kitchen. Um, the living room, I kind of agree with the same thing. Um, I like to have a window open. Um, it makes more of a natural light and it actually lowers the electric bill as well. So, um, I did decide that I wanted the windows to be brown though, just to where they would match the door. Um, I just wasn't exactly sure what door I was going to use. I kind of debated between, back and forth between which one I wanted to use. Whether I wanted a sliding door or whether I wanted just the basic other modern door. Um, you can see I put a little half wall up. Um, I did get that because in my grandma's house, actually, she has a half wall in her kitchen. Well, slash dining room. Um, and it's... It is a half wall, but it's a lot thicker than that. She makes it into her own little counter type thing. Um, but it obviously is a half wall. It used to have like shelves and things that would go all the way up to the ceiling. But she had those removed like back in the 80s or something. So as you can see, I've already placed all of the counters and the cabinets up above. I was trying to make it to where everything would fit for two sims. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to have more than that or if you wanted to have children, you could always take the one bedroom, make it into a kid's room, um, or even add on to the side or maybe even put a roof. But I figured this would be for like two sims that are just starting out. Um, or if you wanted like a mother and a daughter son and a dad. I just kind of, I really figured that this would be the perfect type of home for some sims that are just starting out. So I really, really love this couch that we got. And so I was trying to figure out how I could make it to where it would fit perfectly in that little space. And you'll see, I end up putting that wall, that window there. Um, just because I like when I'm sitting on the couch, either watching TV or something, it's good to have a window that you can just look straight outside and, uh, it feels like nature is a lot closer. Um, so I wanted to also welcome lots of the new subscribers again. Um, 
I'm still kind of getting used to the speed build. Sometimes I don't have the type of inspiration that I want to have to be able to build. Um, with this house, I really was just in the mood. And I was trying to go for lots of, like, the warm browns with the green. I especially love the green. But I was also trying to... I really wanted to use... Um, that particular curtain it just pokes out the side so I was trying to figure out which curtain to use for it to where it would cover it but not too much and as you can see I tried to end up placing two and make sure that the poles weren't sticking outside that maybe they were just deep inside the wall um, so right here I'm trying to figure out which painting I wanted to have on that particular wall um, Obviously, that coloring goes really well, but I I don't know. I just thought that maybe something was missing. So, um, I do end up just sitting there debating back and forth whether I was going to keep that one or not. Um, obviously, something I was not 100% sure on. Um, so I, I decide, okay, I'm just going to put a couple of clutter things in there, and then I'm probably just going to head to the bedroom to see if I can maybe start in there and figure out what I'm going to do. I, I am pretty glad that I ended up using that clear door for the bathroom. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not good if you're like sleeping in the bed and you have company who has to go to the bathroom. They have to walk through your bedroom to get there. But I do know that lots of apartments in New York are actually like that. Perfect example. I know you guys are going to probably laugh at me at my example. But when I was watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, his bathroom was through the bedroom. Which I thought was kind of interesting. I don't know if that actually saves on space or what. Um, I was excited that I did get this little shelf type thing. I was just trying to figure out what I was going to use to fill it with. Um, obviously what I was excited to be able to have all of these um, new additions. That's why I ended up using that candle thing as more as like a wall divider rather than candles just there. Um, I think it's from Spotty. I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, I was trying to get those gosh darn plants to sit on that thing and it just would not sit. No matter how hard I tried or moved things around, it would not sit up there. It was getting so frustrating. So I said, okay. Fine, I'm going to find something else that I can put there. Um, obviously, I did this speed build quite a while ago. Almost like three weeks now, I think. So, um, I'm just doing the voiceover now because I wanted to give y'all a little bit of a break from my Mermaid 100 Baby Challenge. Um... Which, I have to tell you guys, I am so excited that to play that. And I'm even more excited that all the mermaid babies are actually coming out as mermaid babies. Um, though I, I just barely discovered, of course, that um, they have to be teenagers before I can get their mermaid um, selves placed. I guess it's just kind of like... Um, vampires that you have to be able to be um, here I am having a hard time with that thing again um, that's why I ended up deleting it but I figured it was just like vampires that even a vampire child you have to wait until they are teenagers before you can change their dark form that's also how I figured out that even with a vampire, you're, um, unless you have a special mod, you can't even suck blood as a child. But, of course, with one of my uh, LPs for the orphanage, I ended up getting that. Um, so, as you can see, I really liked plants in this speed build. Mostly, I picked the plants because I figured they were 
more or less in the forest and to bring the plants inside it makes it feel a little more like home um, as you can see obviously I don't know if I actually keep the island living bed in there or not I think I did but I don't remember um, I was also debating on like what kind of window I wanted whether I wanted those windows um, I thought they were really cool, but I'm not sure if it's something that anybody would want to have in their bedroom, especially uh, if it got cold, like winter, it'd be super de duper cold. Um, I do like all the island living stuff. I do believe this was the first house that I built after getting all the packs. So I was so super excited to go through the buy and build mode just to be able to see what there was and what I could design and play with because I was just used to using um, movie hangout, get to work, vampires, I think that, oh and seasons. So um, to be able to have all the packs really definitely opened up my creativity a little bit because there are there's even stuff now that I I'm still surprised that I find <laughs> you start looking for things and you discover something and it's like hallelujah angels are playing in the background because you're so excited that you found something new I haven't even gone through the new newest patch with the debug um, with all the different plants I definitely want to um, build a little fairy house and use some of the trees that are there. Um, so look for that. We'll see what I can do on putting that together. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, information and Q&As about me and how long I've been playing Sims. Um, the Sims 4, I've only been playing for maybe about six months nine months something like that I think it was around my birthday last year which is September um, that's when I got playing into the Sims again but I played the Sims 1 and Sims 2 geez I think I was like 12 or 13 when they first came out and I pretty much what I did the entire time was I created myself I created whatever crush I had at that time and I would have me get with them and see how well you know they worked out of course that was when um, you chose their astrological sign whether it was Sagittarius or Virgo or Leo or Pisces and it is so crazy that that actually made a huge difference on whether the sims were easy to get together or whether it took like a lot of time um when i finally was able to create myself and my current husband that was like we got together really quickly like really quickly um of course at that time he was just a crush High school sweethearts, obviously. We graduated high school in 2005, and we were married at that time. I had a crush on him since, oh boy, um, probably junior year, I guess. Um, he did a lot of work for me in my car just because he is an auto technician, and so he did. I got in an accident and he said that he could help me repair my car because my insurance company had totaled it out when all it had was a busted fender, a broken hood, and a broken radiator. A hole in the radiator. And they totaled it out. It was just, it was a 92 Ford Taurus, an old squad car. Which I have to say, that little beast, oh my goodness. We called her Sticky because on the top, above the driver's side door, there was a sticky spot where they put like this rubber type thing to cover the hole where the antenna came out, I think for the radio or something, I don't know. So we called her Sticky and 
that car went through so much stuff. Um, me and my husband were in our senior year of high school when we ran away together. And we ran to Texas to stay with his brother for a while. Um, and then it, we ended up coming back right before the new year of 2005 and ended up moving up to Idaho to stay with my mom. And uh, we've been together ever since. Um, I got pregnant with our son, Scott, who is now 14. He'll be 14 in September. I actually went into labor with him on my birthday. So his birthday is one day from mine, which I think is really cool. Except for the fact that between me and the kids, all four kids that I have actually, our birthdays are September, October, and November. And then, of course, December is Christmas. So for four months out of the year, we are completely broke. Our, all of the birthdays that are combined, September 6th is mine. September 7th is my son's. Then we skip ahead to our youngest baby. Her birthday is October 4th. Mine and my husband's anniversary is October 10th. Um, our son Cameron, his birthday is October 20th, and then Araya, my middle daughter, her birthday is November 4th. She was born just as Obama was put into presidency. So, as you can see, we are all combined every couple weeks our family has a birthday. And then, of course, my husband's birthday is March 9th. So, we have a little bit of recoup <laughs> from being broke from all the birthdays. Um, so, anyway, um, we ended up trying to come down to Texas to help my husband's grandma. And we ended up blowing our engine in Cuba, New Mexico. And we've been stuck here kind of ever since. So, right now... Because we were homeless when I had my youngest daughter in October a couple years ago. Because we were, quote, homeless, even though we were staying in a hotel waiting for family to come down and get us. Um, the state did come and take three of the children into custody, and we've been fighting to get them back ever since. They've kind of put us through the ringer, literally. Um... Our one son, Cameron, was actually visiting my mother, ouch, for the summer. And when we got our apartment, CYFD said that it would be okay for us to have him home. So we went ahead and went and got him. So now he is home. <clears throat> so we are working on trying to get the rest of the kids back. He's been home with us for about a year now. Which is totally insane how fast time flies, especially when you have kids. Um, so that's kind of a little bit about me and the fam. Um, we actually, I have a visit, we have visits with them twice a week. Tuesdays for one hour. And Thursday, which is today, we have our two-hour visit. And those are, that's the only time that we get unless we get approval for a community visit. Which is like going to my son's basketball game or something like that. But all of our visits are obviously supervised. We also can't talk to our kids on the phone unless we have permission. It kind of sucks really does we can't wait until this is over I we can't even discuss like our if my kids are getting bullied in school we get in trouble discussing that with them and so <clears throat> guys keep your fingers crossed that pretty soon here we'll be able to have all the kids home and we'll be able to be a family again um Anyway, as you've been watching the speed build, you can see that I'm almost, I'm getting kind of close to being at the end of it. Um, 
I'm just making sure I'm not going to be like James Turner and forget the bin. <laughs> there was one time that I forgot the bin and, and it was with the Hunter Baby Challenge. So, um, I do believe that this build is up on the gallery. Um, if it is, then I'll make sure that I turn it in to be such. I've also got another speed build, which is... Um, I wanted it to be a base game speed build, base game starter home, because I know that that is um, what I've heard lots of people are requesting. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'll do a few of these, especially when we have like the island packs and different things. So I think I'll alternate. I'll alternate between um, unlimited packs and base game base game starter or just regular base game because that way you guys can get the type of content that you guys are needing because that's definitely what's important to me i want to make sure that you guys can download some of these homes and things and put them in your game and i know how bad it sucks when you don't have the packs how many times I down, tried to download Deligracies and I didn't have all of the packs that she had and it took me just as, took me about as long to replace everything and paint everything with the content that I had. I could have just built my own house with the stuff that I had, you know? So, um, I will work on that. You guys tell me what kind of things that you want to have, whether you want to have, um, base game, starter, family homes, single homes, um, I'll kind of figure out, like, I'll write it down, like, how I think you get 20,000 for one sim, 22,000 for two sims, and it goes up, I think, to even 26,000, I think, for, like, four sims, Thir if you have eight sims, it's, like, 32,000 or something like that. So I will work with that and see if I can create some. Um, if you want me to do limited pack builds, um, randomized, let me know on those. If you want a um, certain amount, if you want me to upgrade some of the townies, like the Goss house, I am working on a save file. So if you guys want... Um, Tell me what townies that you guys want in my save file, which ones you don't. Um, I will obviously upgrade all of their houses to where they all kind of match. Um, so as you can see, I think I'm almost coming to a close with this house. Um, as you can see, we put a little thing in front. The living room is not quite done yet, I don't think. I thought I added a another plant or something right there by the couch but maybe I didn't I'm just figuring out the paint for the bedroom and the owie kitty you guys know I have seven baby kittens right now and my son just gave them a bath and blow dried them so they're nice dry and fuzzy but old I think all seven of them are up here yep I've got all seven of them, and they're sitting right here, and they love to crawl across my keyboard, so I'm trying to keep them away. Anyway, we're coming to a close with this one. I'll put up some screenshots of everything. It'll be uploaded to the gallery. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys um, comment what kind of things you want to see. So I bid you all farewell. I wish you guys prosperity, love, and all kinds of other things. And we'll see you all next time. Namaste. Bye, guys.